Colorado State. Hey there, CSU. Good evening, Fort Collins. Hey guys, I'm your host, Jackie Wilson. I'm Jackie Wilson. I'm still Jackie Wilson. And this is Ram Rant. Ram Rant. Ram Rant. Ram Rant. And possibly the heart and soul of CTV. Hopefully there's some good news that comes out of this that are a little poetic and a little outlandish. Mm. Oh, there it is. There we go. We're going to try something totally new. All right, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Check it out. Hey there, Rams. Welcome to another episode of Ram Rants, and we hope you enjoyed your spring break and are ready to get back to work this semester. I know I'm not really ready yet, but we gotta be, right? This evening, we have Sydney Boyle and Rachel Diatlo to discuss a fun opportunity for local bands to play in the Lori Student Center. And later, we have a CSU senior who's decided to run for city council in Greeley. But first, we're gonna talk to Sydney and Rachel about their uh, Ram Events crew. So will you guys tell me a little bit about yourselves first? Sure, I'm Sydney Boyle. I'm the External Relations and Public Relations Coordinator for RAM Events. Um, I'm Rachel Diatlo. I'm the Marketing Coordinator for RAM Events. Very cool. And RAM Events used to be ASAP, right? So can you tell me a little bit about this rebranding change? Yeah, so you're correct. It used to be ASAP. Um, and recently we joined with Diversity and Social Justice Programming. Um, so now we're RAM Events and we work to put on diverse and enriching programs that are affordable and really um, go towards um, expanding the CSU experience and it's all sorts of things from music like we're going to talk about today um, to films to lectures to just little programs that you maybe see in the Student Center. Wow so you guys really cover kind of the whole board of events <laughs> yeah, like you're every try. kind of RAM events. <laughs> yes. So all right so we were talking about the band so we should probably start off with that. Tell me a little bit about this band event that's coming up. So it initially started, we've partnered with Spokesbuzz in the past to provide openers for our larger shows or they come play for a commencement concert or a Battle of the Bands type event. And they came to us this semester wanting to kind of bring live music into the Student Center and we thought it was a great idea. We have this awesome new building and we really wanted to bring in some fun kind of new energy with our new building. So right. we've been bringing in some uh, live bands for the grand opening. We had a couple bands in last week, and then we're going to have some more bands in on April 17th. Wow, that's so cool. And it's a, such a good chance for students to kind of come and get away from classes for a little while. You were Definitely. talking about how um, earlier there was some acoustic sets that can kind of be played during the day there, too, which is neat. Yes, a couple weeks ago, so right before spring break, we had Edison, which is a spokesbuzz band. They're kind of acoustic, very cool band. You should look them up. They were in, actually, the food court during the lunch period. Wow. So it was kind of just subtly there in the background, a nice way to relax right before spring break. Wow, very cool. And what kind of other events do we have going on that are kind of upcoming? Yeah, so we've got some really cool things coming up um, on April 3rd, which is a Friday. Yeah. Um, there's CSU's Got Talent. It's kind of exactly what it sounds like, Run Like America's Got Talent. Um, there's going to be three judges, one of which is Tony Frank, so Tony that's pretty Frank. exciting. <laughs> the beard will be there! The man himself, <laughs> that's yes. That's so crazy. Um, so Tony Frank will be there being a judge, um, and there's a lot of great student talent going on that night. Um, and what's really cool is the students who are in the audience get the chance to vote for who they think should win. Um, it's oh. a Twitter vote, and it'll also be a live stream on YouTube which really? is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. All the people at home can watch as well, but yeah. if we can get there, we probably should. That sounds yeah, awesome. Yeah, definitely. And we've got so many talented students here Absolutely. at Absolutely. What are kind of some of the talents that we can expect to see? Is this going to be like jugglers, singers, like what kind of? You know, I think we can expect to see anything. I um, didn't go to the auditions, but from what I hear, there's some pretty awesome stuff coming this up. It's going to be like a big diverse thing. I'm excited. Yeah. So tell me a little bit more about some other events that are coming up. I know we've got a lot to do with music and talent, but there are also some more like lecture type based things coming up too as well. Yeah. So on August 6th, which is a Monday, um, there is going to be Heinz Ward. He's speaking um, as a part of Asian Pacific Islander Awareness Month, okay. um, which is going on the whole month of April. But he is the keynote speaker for the month. Uh, he played for the Pittsburgh Steelers right. um, in the NFL. Girl. I get it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, so he played for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He's a Super Bowl MVP, um, and he's going to kind of talk about his. Um, identities and how that relates to his career in the NFL um, and how he identifies with the month which is really awesome yeah. um, and then it kind of related to that not intentionally together but the next day on the 7th um, we're gonna have Leland Melvin he also played in the NFL um, but that. most notably he was an astronaut for NASA wow. um, so he's gonna talk about his time in space um, and both of those are free events for students um, really 
they can get tickets at Campus Information and Box Office. So cool. some really cool things to check out. So you can't get much more affordable than free. That <laughs> exactly. sounds amazing. And yeah. I mean, that's a big part of what you guys do is affordable things for students. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit more about kind of your guys' mission, your drive to, to put on these great events for CSU students. Definitely. So we are for students by students. We are a group of students and we are the people who are making decisions on what programs to bring. We actually have a really cool market research program that we really try and take student input into account. So we really want to do what CSU students want to see on campus. So we have an ambassador program where people can, they're kind of what we call our super volunteers. They have to propose programs and then they kind of help run the programs to see how we do things. And then we can also take program proposals just from anyone who walks into our office and has a really great idea. We also have a big idea box which travels around campus cool. and people can kind of anon anonymously submit these events that they want to see on campus. Interesting. So have you guys had any like outlandish suggestions? We get a lot of suggestions for Beyonce. Beyonce. Really? Yes. I don't blame them. I mean, Beyonce is pretty cool. Yes. Maybe yeah. a little <laughs> far reaching, but cool nonetheless. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of big stars though, you guys are, at least you helped with the Macklemore concert. Yes. And you'll be doing the upcoming one, right? Definitely. In the fall, which we can't talk about yet, but right. big concerts going on. Tell me what it's like to work with some of these big name celebrities. It's, it's very interesting in this job we get to meet a lot of, well, we get to meet all of the acts that come to CSU. We work with either them or their agents from kind of the offer letter process all the way through hospitality day of kind of making sure they're comfortable at CSU and making sure they have everything that they need. And it's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes, but it's definitely, definitely a lot of fun. Yeah, that's so cool. And I mean, you were talking about there's a lot of people that can be ambassadors or get yeah. involved in different ways and you guys are also hiring. We come are. Yes. Do you have any advice for people who want to come in and kind of take part in this kind of RAM events job? Definitely. Be willing to work hard. No two days are the same in event planning, but it's a great job and definitely changed my CSU experience. Very sure. cool. Yeah. And, and tell me a little bit about your guys' journey. So like when did you start? Why did you get involved? Things like that. I started in April of my freshman year. Wow. at CSU. Right off the bat. Yes. Coming in hot. I yes. Like it. <laughs> the first event I did was actually the Macklemore show. Really? And yeah, kind of kind of got thrown in the deep end on that one. Definitely. But you learn quick. And um, I've been working there ever since. I actually used to be the marketing coordinator, which is what Rachel does this year. Okay. And moved to external relations and public relations and loved every minute of it. Neat. How are you? How'd you get yeah, your start here? So um, like Sydney said, I'm the marketing coordinator now. I kind of took over her job um, in, I guess, January I started just this semester um, and it's something that I knew about for a little while just because Sydney and I were friends and I knew about her position and then it opened up and I applied and have loved every second of it it's like Sydney said no two days are the same so it's yeah. been really awesome right. to kind of learn about that and it's um, really practical and that I'm a marketing major so it's really cool like real world experience right hands-on kind of see what you might be doing later yeah exactly and it's funny though you guys are both students right now but coming junior year you have some job things coming up and you're not trying to do anything with uh, <laughs> marketing relations right so not can not you tell quite. us a little bit about what you're trying to do I am oh. studying for my LSAT so wow. take that in June hopefully law school after that but Crazy. a lot of the things that I've learned at RAM events has kind of translated into that we work a lot with agents and contracting so that's definitely a very legal oriented type thing that we do at RAM events and all the technical skills you can kind of take with you. That's great that it transfers over too. Yeah. And I mean, coming up, we I, never, I don't even know what I want to do yet and I'm graduating. <laughs> so this is, I, I get where you guys are coming from with kind of trying to figure that out. But that's cool that you've been kind of so embedded in the CSU community that it gives you those skills. What I love about this whole college yes. experience here. Yeah, definitely. I don't leave. Are you guys ready? No. no. Senior year is coming <laughs> up. Oh. That's exciting though. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. But I mean, it's coming up and you guys are going to do great. I, I'm excited to see big things <laughs> come from both of you. Well, thank you. Thank of you. Course. Well, is there anything else you want to add before we toss it to break real quick? Well, since you're graduating, yeah. you should know, we have a commencement concert Ooh. on May 2nd. It's going to be Radical Something. Ooh. Um, graduating yeah. seniors get in free. All free? Others for free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. i got to keep that one in mind. Okay. And all other CSU students, it's $5 tickets. Um, oh, nice. And community members are also welcome for $10. Nice. So just kind of a little ladder there. I like yeah. how it keeps the, the graduating students free, though. Yeah, That's nice. nice. Free That's wise. Cool. And yeah. $5. That's affordable. Yeah, like absolutely. That. Very cool. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, I've had such a blast with you guys, and I'm excited to see the events that you guys are putting on, too. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having us. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much. All right, well, if you want to have you or your band come play for CSU, or you've got other suggestions, you can find more information 
information at www.ramevents.colostate.edu. And when we come back, we'll sit down with Rochelle Galindo. She's a senior at CSU who's decided to run for a city council position in Greeley. She's only 25, so don't go away. You're definitely going to want to hear from her. Today is a great day to play in the LSC, so let's take a look at our ballrooms, theater, and art galleries. The LSC ballrooms, which are the busiest venue in Northern Colorado, have been recently renovated. The Lori Student Center Theater can be transformed to feature films, concerts, lectures, entertainment, and banquets. And last but not least, the Kerfman Gallery provides a showcase for the creations of local and student artists. Welcome back, CSU. Thanks for staying tuned in. And now we'll have a little chat with Rochelle Galindo, a CSU Ram who's running for city council in Greeley. So first, Rochelle, will you tell us a little bit about yourself? I mean, you're practically a celebrity here. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, my name is Rochelle Galindo. Um, I'm running for Greeley City Council because I feel I need to do my part in shaping my community, as well as giving Greeley the opportunity to have leadership that reflects the com uh, community that it actually represents. So right. um, I was born and raised in Greeley. Um, I've been involved in the last three years as far as campaign work. I've knocked thousands of doors, um, engaged hundreds of voters in that area. So um, even last year, I was uh, honored by the Hispanic Women of Wealth uh, oh. by giving their uh, Community Leadership Award. That's so incredible. Congratulations on that. That's thank amazing. You. Yeah. Well, um, and so if I am elected to Greeley City Council, I hope to continue my leadership in Greeley. So. Wow, that's amazing. And you do live in Greeley, but you're also a CSU Ram. Right. So we're excited to have you here, of course, on, on Ram Rants. So tell me a little bit about what you're studying here at CSU. It's fairly obvious that I'm a political science fairly major. <laughs> I figured we'd go there, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a senior this year. I actually got my start um, at Ames Community College in Greeley, okay. and then I transferred here to CSU. Um, yeah, uh, so that's basically my, my, my school stuff. Right. Yeah. So um, political science is what kind of gave you this passion for political science? That's a, a cool thing to be interested in, but I know I am not well equipped for that. So how did you get into it? always been passionate about politics. Mm -hmm. um, it's the most important part of our world, I think. Um, but I was even involved in the uh, speech and debate club in uh, uh, Greeley Central. And um, when I was in college, when I was at Ames, I uh, did an, a summer internship for the Obama campaign in 2012. From there, they gave me a job. And uh, I finished out the campaign. I mm -hmm. uh, wanted to stay involved locally after the election was done. So I joined the Weld County Democrats. Um, I worked on a, the mayor race in 2013 in Greeley. And most recently, I did Latino outreach uh, efforts as for Representative Dave Young's campaign. Oh, He's wow. uh, the current rep for Greeley Evans. Very cool. So, I mean, jumping back, we just did a big name drop for the president here. <laughs> so you got to kind of work on Obama's campaign. You were you were working for Obama. Yeah, I That's worked amazing. for the president. Yeah. How cool and. Like, what, how was that experience? Tell me everything. That's so interesting. Amazing. It was very much a dream come true. Every day I went to work, I, I loved it. Um, yeah, I was able to, the first time I actually saw him speak was right here, um, right outside of uh, the Clark Building um, in 2012. And uh, he's a very inspirational man. Um, yeah, so I, I was actually able to meet a few celebrities, uh, also Michelle Obama and Joe Biden. So, That's so um, cool. Yeah, very exciting. She's an awesome woman. She is. She is. I love Michelle Obama. That's she's so hot cool. Too. No. <laughs> she's a cutie. She's, and the whole, her whole campaign on the, the fitness and all that stuff, I think that's great. Right. So what other kind of credentials, I guess? Tell me a little bit more about your background. Um, yeah, well, I, like I said, I uh, got involved with uh, the president's campaign in 2012, um, knocked thousands of doors um, for 
that campaign, the mayor race, and also um, for Dave's race. Mm -hmm. um, I really focused on Latino outreach efforts for Dave Young's campaign, uh, which kind of was a focus for the ward that I'm running for now. Okay, so um, it gave you some really hands-on experience. Right, right, and I've talked to those people. Um, I know their issues, they know me, and I grew up in that community. Right. That's, that's my community, and I really want to do my part in shaping it, so. I think that's um, awesome, yeah. having that kind of close connection with somebody who's supposed to be representing you, and knowing as a representative the people who you are representing that's so important right so what kind of things can we expect to see from you if you get in elected into office um, well accessibility uh, you know a lot of people will say that I'm I'm young but yeah. the, uh, the only thing that my age says about me is that I will be able to I have the energy to do this job effectively and be accessible to the people that I'll be representing absolutely and I mean 25 years old how, like, you must be so proud of yourself. I know I'm <laughs> proud of you sitting here just being able to talk to you. I, I mean, I was just talking about, uh, before the break, I'm, t I'm, you know, graduating and I have no idea what it, where I'm going with my life. And I think that's a, where a lot of people are now. And it's so inspiring to see somebody who has a passion and is driven and is ready to kind of take the reins in their own life kind of a thing. So how does that feel? Um, I mean, it, it feels amazing. I mean, you do what you love and you never work a day in your life. So yeah. uh, my advice is just, you know, follow your passion, follow your heart. If right. you truly love it and you will wake up every day loving to do it, then do it. And that's how I feel about politics. Yeah. Um, but I think it's important that more young people are, are involved. Um, there are decisions being made about the future that our generation has no voice in, and we deserve a seat at the table in order to make sure that our future isn't, isn't damaged or, or, um, or altered in some way. Absolutely, and so what would you say to kind of the naysayers who say, you know, you're too young for this, you don't have enough experience, or any, any kind of uh, people who are trying to get down on that because of your age, what, do you, what would you say to them? Well, like I, like I said before, uh, more young people definitely need to be involved mm -hmm. in politics. Um, you know, that's basically how we got our first black president. That's how um, we legalized marijuana in the state of Colorado. I remember in registering voters uh, and the people my age would only register me with me because uh, Amendment 64 was on the ballot. Really? So that, that says a lot. And um, I think the 2012 election should show um, our generation just the impact involvement can, can bring. You know, we reelected our black president and we also legalized marijuana. There was, you know, a lot of uh, major ballot issues that swept the nation. Mm -hmm. So. Just gotta, just gotta vote, please right. vote. <laughs> yeah, there. Especially for younger people, I think it's kind of intimidating for a lot of kids, or, or not kids, but young adults to come to the table and maybe not feel as confident about voting. And, and why do you think that is? Like, why do you think people kind of are so intimidated by, by politics in general? There's a lot of apathy. Um, I've definitely experienced apathy with uh, our mm -hmm. generation, the millennials. Um, Society and the media has basically been formed to make you think that your voice doesn't matter, mm -hmm. that your vote doesn't count. When in actuality, it does. It does. Um, I remember in the, there's a big statistic that goes out in the 2010 uh, campaign for Michael Bennett. He won by one vote per precinct. Wow. One vote. Well, so that one person really did have their say. Right. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And so if you were to say one thing to the people of our generation, what would it be? That's a big one. <laughs> that is, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the whole generation's riding on your shoulders. Right, right. <laughs> um, you know, what I would say is be confident in yourself. Don't ever doubt yourself and, um, you know, just follow your heart because it'll never steer you wrong. Very good advice, very good advice. And, and what are kind of some of the issues that we need to be aware of, you think, that are going on right now in the political atmosphere? <laughs> well, um, just for young people in general, I think student debt is a huge uh, problem for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we have this massive amount of, of debt in this nation that a lot of people aren't even aware of. Mm -hmm. um, people our age are graduating with, uh, you know, student loan debt that, peop uh, you know, our parents didn't even have a comparable uh, debt to what we have now. Right. So, so times are changing. Um, yeah, that's definitely one of the biggest really issues that's affecting us. Especially our, our here as, as uh, college students, that's kind of something that we're definitely 
really kind of got a foot in the water in that one. Right. Well, Rochelle, this is awesome, and I'm so excited to see what you're what you're going to do and the great things that are going to come from you. And we're so excited to see as a CSU Ram the great things you're going to accomplish. So thank, thank you. you so much for being here. Thank you. We get to sit here with a celebrity who's worked for <laughs> Obama for crying out loud. <laughs> this is awesome. All right. Well, that does it for us tonight. Thank you so much for watching Ram Rants, and be sure to watch all the CTV shows on thecollegian.com. And thank you again, Rochelle, for coming on. If you would like to hear a little bit more about um, Rochelle's campaign, you can visit her website. Other th otherwise, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you later.